Hello, my name is Luke and I'm here to show you the good stuff, stuff that is going to make you a much better music artist. You're going to be able to get your songs done quicker, you're going to make them sound better and that will give you the opportunity just to put them out into the world, share them with friends, family, whatever you want to do with them. The point is we're here to make your songs better. And I've got a really great little thing to dive into today and it's how to get good, strong, sturdy drums and fast as well. And they're just back-breakingly awesome and just, oh, that's all I can do to describe them. The example that I'm going to be using is one of my songs called McQueen. I'm just going to show you a little section of how it sounds here going into the chorus. Cool, nice. So that is how the drums sound. You can actually hear they're very, very simple. And that's what I love about these really strong, sturdy drums is that they can work very, very quickly for you because you don't need all that much to get them going. So let's dive into the drum bus here. This is how it looks. Let me just get rid of this up here. So you can see these kind of four main tracks here. These are making up the bulk of the drums. Let me just solo the channel here. Let's take a listen soloed. Now, believe it or not, the way that the drums sound in the chorus here is exactly the same way that they sound in the verse. And I'm thinking of songs like Michael, ja excuse me, Michael Jackson, Billie Jean. I'm thinking ZZ Top, Sharp Dressed Man. I'm thinking Tame Impala, The Less I Know The Better. Those songs, I'm not going to play them because I'll demonetize the video. But if you go and listen to them, you can hear how the drum beat is strong, groovy and sturdy. They typically have four on the floor as well. Uh, so it just is really easy, solid. And so let's go how to get that. How many times did I say solid, eh? To me, you want to start by getting great sound selection, all right? If you listen to each of these tracks individually, right, you can hear that they're just good sounds. Here's the kick. Here's the snare. And then the two hi-hats here. Okay, each sound is really, really good, and I'll show you what the sounds are. For my kick, I'm using a 707, it's down here, the BD-707. So BD stands for bass drum. A 707 is a vintage drum machine, and I love the 707 sound. If you're looking for really great, strong, sturdy drums, I would just jump right into the 707 kit. Uh, you can easily grab it, and it'll just work in almost any kind of pop song. So really, really good. Uh, the snare, I believe, I actually don't have the original sample to show you, but I believe that this was also a 707 type sound. Uh, again, really, really solid. If I'm listening to it. To me, it, this is also a 707 snare, so again from the same kit. And then the two hats, I can't remember for the life of me where these are from. Probably one is from the 707, and then one is a sample from somewhere else. But let's take a listen to what they're both doing. There's hat number one, and here's hat number two. So you can hear they both have very different tones. They are just layered. One of them is a bit more pointy and sharp and maybe a little higher in pitch, which is this one. And that's more central in the mix. This one here is a bit more saturated, a bit thicker, a little bit more wide. So I layered them up. So that's the first thing is good sound selection. Don't be afraid to spend a bit of time selecting the right sound and eventually you'll get to a point where you know what sounds good and I'm giving you a quick fast track pass here the 707 kit is the one um, so in terms of the groove this is what also makes it strong as well and gets people moving all you need is the kick hat and snare that's why there's so many simple layers you can go ahead and start adding percussion and shakers and things like that but what you're going to start doing is 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 busying up how things are sounding and i think sometimes having space can also make something feel stronger especially if you've got a very straight groove like this so again it's all dependent on the context of the song but all you need is a kick snare and hat for a strong groove the kick is very simply four on the floor not quite four on the floor it plays on beats one and three of the bar 
the snare comes in on two and four. So again, if I just play those two, again, Billie Jean does this, Sharp Dressed Man does this, almost any song in the world does this. And then the hats, this is where I add a little bit more sauce here. So we have a little open hat to introduce the, uh, the kind of drum loop here. And you can hear that there's a bit of velocity changing, okay? And this is kind of my third point is uh, volumes, okay? Velocities. So with the kick and snare, keep them pretty much the same volume the entire way through. If you want to add a bit of realism, just adjust the velocity of them slightly, you can do that. Uh, I didn't, I just kept mine all the same volume. But then the hi-hats, uh, this is where you want to add a little bit more realism because uh, to me that just makes it sound better, right? It makes it sound more human. And you can hear how there are parts of the hi-hat that are quieter and then louder. And I'm even changing pitch in one of them. And these are all things that you can do in your piano roll. Again, if I try to find my... No, I don't have the access to the MIDI file. I think I actually might have just dragged these hi-hats in as audio and then I joined them all up. So if you drag in for example, different hi-hat parts here. Let's say that these are two different parts. You could have this first one here be the same volume, and then this second one, you could highlight the two. In Logic, there's a little gain button. You could pull them down in volume, right? And that's going to create a kind of a, a, a groove over the top of the kick and snare. Uh, you can do this in any DAW, by the way. This is just how you do it in Logic, but there'll be a way for you to turn the hi-hat up and down like that. So, yeah, consistent volume in the kick and snare, and then a nice kind of varied volume in the hi-hat. So if we put them all together, you'll hear how that plays off one another and take a listen to what the hi-hats are doing. The hi-hat is basically playing on every offbeat. That is when the uh, higher velocity comes in is on the offbeat. So you get ta -ta 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 -ta. So it's very groovy. So it kind of comes in between the kick and snare. Sounds very, very cool. That is a shortcut method to get strong and sturdy drums. Certainly getting great sounds, putting a good groove, and then obviously mixing it into the song will have a difference. Let me know if you want me to break down how I'm mixing these drums. I can do that for you. Uh, otherwise, if you like this kind of stuff, like and follow for more, and I'll see you in the next one.